I want to teach on the topic entitled, A Crown Awaits Me. In 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8, it says this, Finally, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on that day, and not to me only, but also to those who have loved his appearing. I want to tell you right now that there is a crown waiting for you, waiting for me, if we are looking for Jesus' return. I want to tell you it is important, and in fact it is imperative, that we get our focus on Jesus' return. And say, Lord Jesus, I am looking for the day that you are coming back to come and fetch us. I'm looking for the day that you are going to come and sit down and come collect your bride. Come and fetch your bride. But we are looking, on, we are looking out for you. And so I want to challenge each and every believer. The Bible says that if we look to the Lord and we look for his appearance, we will get a crown of righteousness as a reward. And so I want to challenge you this morning and say, saints, Make sure that you have a heart towards God and a heart towards his return and say, God, send Jesus. Father, send Jesus. Jesus, as soon as you come, I'm ready for you to meet you in the clouds. And so I want you to know that God is so excited about us. Jesus can't wait to come and fetch us. He's waiting for the Father to give the signal to come and fetch his bride. And so saints, I want you to know that you are special. All right. Each one of us is special and God has got a plan for us. And so today as we take communion, let us celebrate the fact that Jesus Christ is coming back. And not only is he coming back, he is coming back for a bride without spot or wrinkle. That we are going to be sorted out, but that we are needing to look to him. And look for his return. And say, Lord, we are waiting for your return. We hunger for you. And we long for you every single day. On the night that Jesus betrayed, he took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take it in remembrance of me. He took the cup and he said that this is my blood that was shed for you. Take it in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was shed, uh, broken for our physical, emotional healing. The blood of Jesus was shed for our salvation, protection, and provision. And so, saints, I want us never to forget what Jesus Christ has done for us. And that he's coming back. He's coming back for his bride. He's coming back for you and I. If we love the Lord, we have to be looking for his return. So let's pray together. Lord, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus that you will forgive us of any wrongdoing. Lord, any wrong thought, any wrong attitude, any wrong motive, any wrong action. God, anything that's out of whack, and Lord, that is contrary to your word, we ask you please to forgive us and to wash us white as snow. Lord, we thank you for dying on the cross and paying that price for us. But Jesus, I pray that as we take communion today, that we will get a revelation that you are coming back for your bride. And that you are coming back for each one of us. In Jesus mighty name. And Lord I pray right now. That we will look for your return. And Lord that we will keep our focus on you and you only. In Jesus mighty name. And everybody said amen and amen. Let's partake together saints. Lord, we just come before you this morning. We thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. We thank you, Lord, that you love us so much. And Lord, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, we command a physical healing to take place in our bodies. We command every sim symptom of sickness to leave our bodies. We thank you, Lord, that we are healed by the power of God. And Lord, that by your stripes we were healed. And Lord, we thank you that we can walk in divine health in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, saints, I want to remind you that it's Sunday morning and we have got something amazing in store for the children today. I want to please encourage you, all right, at um, 
at 10 o'clock today, all right, we've got the Chorin's Church in Afrikaans and the English. Okay, so whichever way it is, but I want to just ask you, please get the Chorin to watch today. Why? Because we're dealing with salvation. The biggest decision that anybody can make is to give their hearts to the Lord Jesus Christ. And so teacher Lizelle is going to be teaching on how to accept the Lord Jesus Christ into your life. And so I'm going to ask you, please, if you have children in primary school age, please phone them, contact them, grandchildren, friends, neighbors, anybody. Get them to watch the feed today. Anytime today, it's pre-recorded. But from 10 o'clock, it's going to be going on live. And so go and listen to it. And let the children play it for them and let them make the decision to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. And so this is a very important day. And so I want to just really put out an appeal. Go and spread the word. Let's get the children to make a decision to serve the Lord Jesus Christ this morning. In Jesus' name. 10 o'clock, Pastor Donnie is going to be ministering in Afrikaans. All right, and then 6 o'clock tonight, I'm going to be ministering. And the word that I'm ministering is time. We need to know that what we say can extend or change or shorten the time frame that we are in, the season that we are in. And I'm going to deal with that tonight at 6 o'clock. And so please, I want you to get ready for that. It is important that you learn these things because these principles can change your life. How many of you would like to have this COVID thing sorted out in South Africa? All right, so we're going to deal with that. What do I need to do to shorten the season that we are in? All right, so right now, I'm going to pray over the families in Jesus' name. So let's pray together. Lord, we come before you this morning. We thank you that we can lift up the families before you. Lord, I thank you that we can just lift up each and every family in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for the, the plan and destiny and purpose that you've got for each one in the family. Lord, I pray for relationships. I thank you, Lord, that relationships will be strong and solid. And Lord, that husbands and wives will be solid together in Jesus' name. Father, we pray your blessing over each and every one and everyone in the family. Father, I thank you that as they stand in unity and in agreement, that the power of God will be seen in each family unit. We thank you for this right now in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, saints, I just want to bless you. I want to just say it's so exciting and such an honor to meet fellow Christians who are out there ready to go make a difference, to stand in the gap and to fight for our nation in Jesus' name. I just want to remind you that we are going to be doing our fast, our 40-day fast and praise thing for our government. I want us, every single believer, to be part of this thing. So get ready for it, okay? We're going to be starting somewhere around the 27th, okay? And we'll let you know, and we're going to release it on WhatsApps. And we want you, please, to spread that as far and wide as possible in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, let's get to our declaration this morning. In Jesus' name. I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, I want you to go wherever you go today. Release peace, release a blessing of God and release life and say, Lord Jesus, come and have your way in our town, in our city, in our homes, in Jesus mighty name. So God bless you. Have an awesome.